so today um i've got a lot planned that isn't reading so yeah. i'm gonna lit finish listening to the La little prince which i started last night when i got out of the bath after i got out i was ready for bed so yeah i listened to a few chapters of that and then i passed the fuck out so this morning i'm gonna finish it i only have an hour left and that's about how long my pie takes to cook i'm gonna continue reading call me by your name and then i'm gonna go food shopping it is my sister's birthday tomorrow so i've got some shit to do and i'm gonna go over to my parents place and spend time with my younger sister yeah that's the agenda for today probably not a lot of reading again but usually isn't that how it goes you get like a slump for two days and then you get back into it fingers crossed that's how that pans out i'm currently wearing my little peach earrings that my roommate made me because they call me by your name and i'm wearing i kind of can't see it very well i am wearing a very flowy dress that i wore last assessment for theater i wore it while doing a monologue for Jane Eyre. Fuck, I forgot what it was called. So yeah, this is the dress that I wore for my monologue for Jane Eyre. It's a very long, flowy, very pretty dress. I'm not really following Instagram challenges because I completely forgot about them and it's been two days since. Like two days have already passed, three days have already passed and it's like, I cannot be asked doing that. So. For those of you who are wondering why there's going to be some weird ass fucking angles when I started the vlog holding my camera because my tripod broke last night so I smashed my phone and I broke my tripod in life anything you are free to do whatever the fuck you want when you are not tamed but okay i wouldn't know i'm not an animal so <laughs> listening to the little prince very cute quick read um i feel like there was like details in that that i wish i could like sit down and read it and like annotate it and stuff so yeah finished one book now i'm really fucking hungry i was gonna say i'm gonna watch an, an episode of the order but no i'm not i'm not gonna watch any tv today i'm going to read while eating my pie that's what i'm going to do day because I'm really bad at my water intake. I've got food half buckles. I know you can't see because table, 
but he's literally got his head on my knee right now. Being like, give me full, give me full. Right, let's do this. So my bookmark is Samara from the ring. He's rummaging hardcore in that. I never fold my books and I never write in my books. So this is like a, holy shit, Haley, I cannot believe you're doing that right now. You can't see my face and it's like a weird kind of angle. So sorry. I'd rather that one than up here. Oh, actually, that's not bad at all. Cute. Okay. You're currently sitting on my candle. <laughs> So many fucking feet references. Can we confirm that Elio has a feet foot, foot, foot fetish? Like everyone's being grossed out about the peach scene and I'm like, dude, I'm grossed out by how many fucking feet comments there are in this. Well, it's me. I am both Oliver and Elio. What Elio is getting frustrated at Oliver for doing is what I do. And I'm like, can you stop, please? <laughs> So Elio's all like, you know, I'd rather be flustered than silent, and I'm like, in particular situ in this in a particular situation, and I'm like, why is that me? And then this scene, he's calling out um, Oliver for like wait, not actually listening to people. He's just waiting to speak what he's rehearsed before he can like before they can continue and cut him off. And I'm like, look at me. I. I'm gonna say this now. I've watched the movie, right? And I did not really like Oliver. Um, but reading the way Elio thinks about Oliver and how highly he talks about him, just his words, the way he says things makes me go, oh my God, I think I'm in love. This is like hitting a completely different line than what the movie does. And I didn't even like think that that would be the case, but it like really does. I feel like I'm just underlining every time something cute happens. Oh my god. Why can't people just be honest with their feelings? Like, I'm such a fan, y'all. I hate myself. This is so much more sexual than I thought it was gonna be, like, straight away. Again, not complaining. It's just a bit of a shock. <gasps> All of my meat just fucking sludged out. That's what she said. Oh! Elio being a bisexual king is just where it's at. You are such a cutie, Buckles. You're so cute.
out in my bed so I've now moved to the room I am now in my dressing gown and I am about to continue reading call me by your name I've read 400 and wait I've read 43 pages of call me by your name so far sorry if I fall asleep and forget to update you I've read 136 pages all up so far today I am exhausted from hoop and pole. I didn't film any of my pole stuff because it was just awkward. <laughs> um, but I filmed stuff for from my hoop class because I finally did a combo. Actually, like, semi-decent. So, like, yay. <laughs> if I don't update you, that's how much I've read. If I do actually forget to vlog, I'll probably update you tomorrow and it will be in the next Days vlog. Yeah. I'm gonna go to bed. Cute shoulder buckles again. Huh? Oh. Hi. My roommate, uh, his mother, has gone away with her family for the weekend, so. Wait, it's not a weekend, it's fucking Thursday. You get what I'm saying. It's my sister's birthday tomorrow. I didn't really get to wish her a good happy birthday. Yes, today. But I gave her a present and everything, and. So, yeah. Alright, night.